From our studios in Boston, WBZ News at 6 starts right now. This is a pretty shocking story. Nurses who dedicate their lives to helping people heal are being attacked on the job. Last night, the I-Team put a spotlight on the growing problem of violence against nurses and other hospital workers. And we have received a huge response today. The I-Team's Lauren Lamanchek still is digging tonight, and she shows us the bill at the State House that could help. They come to work to heal, but nurses are now more often becoming victims while on the job. I've seen nurses punched, kicked, hair pulled. He was fighting us, spitting at us, trying to bite us, threatening to kill us, kill our families. Watch this video obtained by the I-Team. A man goes into a rage in the emergency room, attacking nurses and security guards. It's a bad problem getting worse. Violence in hospitals targeting nurses and other employees. A recent survey found the numbers of jumped 37 percent in the last three years. This nurse, Trisha Casey, was sexually assaulted where she works at the psychiatric unit at Cape Cod Hospital. She says the hospital's response only made it worse. There was a pretty high level person that said, no, that's part of the job. Now nurses want to know what's going to be done and what happened to a bill that's languished at the state house for nearly a decade. It would require hospitals to create detailed programs to minimize the danger of workplace violence against employees. Legislation we feel is necessary to at least um programs in place. Chris Pontus of the Massachusetts Nurses Association says hospitals just aren't doing enough to protect workers. I hate to sound like a moralist here, but it has to do with po a political will, it has to do with making profit, and it has to do with recognizing the problem. Pat Noga of the Massachusetts Hospital Association disagrees. She says virtually every hospital in the state is already in compliance with a law passed last year, which requires all human service providers licensed by the state to adopt a workplace violence prevention plan. Noga says the bill, now at the state house targeting hospitals, is redundant. That one that is still pending, we actually are opposed to because we feel that from what's in place, that hospitals are already endeavoring and already have violence prevention plans and programs in place. Now that bill is reportedly on its way to the Senate Ways and Means Committee, but whether it ever sees the light of day, well, that remains to be seen. Hospitals are powerful players at the State House. They spent more than $25 million on lobbying in the past nine years. Jack? All right, Lauren, thank you. And if you have a story you want the I-Team to investigate, email them. The address, I-Team at cbsboston.com or give them a call, 617-779-TIPS.